All right, I've got enough fiberglass in there going up the sides that I feel I can call this heavy duty. I can't tell if I have rain incoming or if it's just cloudy. Well, luckily I can work on this in the rain anyway. Darn, I've got thunder and lightning. I better call it a day. Oh, but I did get these all fit in there pretty well. Not attached with anything, but they fit quite nicely. Oh, I can feel a few sprinkles. Just race that lightning home. that I want a bigger motor on this boat. But right now, I would like a bigger motor. Oh, there's the rain. Oh yeah, good stuff. All right, according to my count, the lightning's still over half a mile away. And there's home right there. Are there still nine Bellatrix? Just enough resin in my paddles here to lock them in place so I'm gonna let that harden and while that's hardening I'm gonna deal with something I've been ignoring All right, these bearings are getting stuck. Not all of them, two of them are good. The two that I, I put the two good ones in the middle because I can't get those ones out. The two sticky ones I put on the outside. Now what I think is happening here is the rollers are ending up twisting, which isn't a huge problem, except that they're wedged in too tight. So they're actually wedging themselves against the inner part of this and the ring on the other side this one so they're just kind of getting stuck so if that theory is correct I can drill out these rivets pull this out a little bit put it back in and it should be much smoother these things did run smooth when I just made them and then after being out here for I don't know, a few days a week or whatever uh, now they're stiff it could just be because there's dirt in them and it's causing more friction. Um, I want them to be able to work in non-optimal circumstances. 
because I'm going to be using them in real life. You know, I won't always have optimal circumstances. So I'm not going to clean them out. I'm going to leave whatever dirt or whatever's in there, making them sticky, and I'm going to try to make them work well with that. You know, there's another thing I'm thinking that might be an issue. So the rollers push on this part and this ring, right? Um, now if these are skinny, they'll just rub against like the bottom edge of the roller, but since they're kind of fat, they're, they're rubbing kind of higher up on the roller than maybe they should. Definitely would cause more friction. The rollers definitely won't fall out. However, I think this should be skinnier and this ring in here should be skinnier. Maybe I can find a way to sand them a little bit and kind of bevel them so that only the, the skinny part touches and then the... I got my three rivets drilled out. I should be able to get this out. I hit this on. It's in there tough. I almost got it. All right, I think I figured out the problem. It's that when, you know, when these are perfectly straight, no problem. But they end up tilting a little bit. I'm going to exaggerate it just for, so it's easier to see. And then they start, to, you know, rolling against the side rings, right? And if everything is loose enough, they'll just kind of slide along like that instead of actually rolling up they'll just slide back and kind of stay like that right but I have everything in there so snug that these can't slide and it's just uh, getting stuck so I need to take some off of this just make them a little bit looser and it didn't become an issue until these got some dirt in there and some grit and they got harder to slide around you know Okay, and here's why I think this. All right, so this rolls out a little bit. I guess the things are biased, so they slowly rolls out. It slowly rolls in this way until it hits the, uh, the ring and then it's stiff. No ring on this side, they're not getting wedged in, it's just pressing up against this ring. And now, if I just try to push the inside out, it's pretty stiff. It's not that easy to move. So this, you know, this whole thing needs to be able to slide more easily. Now, one way I could test this theory is I could wax the inside of this and then see if they run smoother. I do have some wax. All right, I've got a wax in there. A bit of wax on that guy. Let's reassemble. One way, and the other way. Oh yes, see it got caught there for a second, but then it just slid out and started going smooth again. Yeah, that is much better. So definitely, when I put some grease in these, they'll run smoother. But uh, I, I do still want to loosen them up a little. Because, you know, I won't always have grease in there and water could get in and splash the grease out and then it dries. I don't know. I, I just want it to be able to work in really crappy conditions and in excellent conditions. Man, that is so much smoother now. Whew. Sweet. Alright, all right, those are all fiberglassed on. Looking good. Now what? I guess that wheel's pretty much finished. I you know I could use a bit of sanding and paint, but I can't do any of that stuff till the fiberglass is totally cured. I guess next is chairs. Oh, chairs. A chair here and over there, and then one here and on the other side. So I'm thinking the two front chairs, because this is the front of the boat, the two chairs on this side, they'll, they'll be kind of low. And I want the backs to be able to lay way back so you can almost lay all the way down. Maybe even just lay straight down so you can like super chill out while you're pedaling, pedaling this way. And then this one, I can either move this out of the way or I can just make the chair a little higher. 
So then your legs will come down like this. And then this one you'll be sitting higher. And that'll be kind of good because then you'll have a good, a better view for, you know, wherever you're going. So yeah, make this a higher chair and this a lower chair. Also, that'll make it so the pedaling isn't always the same. So if your legs get tired of pedaling in one way, you can switch to the other way. And I'm going to make the boat so it can go both directions. So you can pedal that way or that way, even if you're the only person on the boat. Oh, you know what else I can work on? Rudders! Speaking of going directions. And if I'm going to make the boat omnidirectional, well, bi-directional, but I'm just going to call it omnidirectional. I'm going to need posts at this end too to put the things on, rudders. Presuming I use these posts, I think, I think that sounds good. Other thing I need to check, hello, it's kind of too late now, is that this looks like it's going to be in the water even if the boat is not weighted down with much. I'm not super sure where the water line is going to be, but yeah, I'm pretty sure those paddles will be in the water. At least like halfway in the water, even with the boat not loaded, you know, just like a person on it. And if not, I'll just have to cut some stuff and lower the thing, but I, I think it's going to be all right. All right, maybe it's a rudder time. Let's see. Oh, that thing's pretty strong. Yeah, it should hold a rudder no problem. I think it's something simple, just a tune. 